Good afternoon and welcome to another bone-chilling, spine-tingling, thrilling and exciting installment of High School English at the Grace Christian Academy YouTube channel. <clears throat> this uh, lecture is being uploaded to be viewed on April 30th, 2020. We're coming close to the end. There are uh, three weeks left in uh, uh, before the end of the school term. Two weeks left until you turn in your final end of course essays. Uh, most of you have turned your essays in, uh, the first drafts of them, and I have uh, either have corrected them and returned them to you, or I will have them to you very shortly. You have uh, until Monday, May the 4th, to turn in a revision, and then uh, I will get those back to you. Your final ones will be due May the 14th. Notice that, May the 14th. I have extended your deadline from May the 11th to May the 14th, so... Uh, <clears throat> Be, uh, be working toward that end. Uh, a lot of you are going to have a lot of work to do on your revised essays. Um, a few things I'd, I'd like to address. Uh, also, also, any other unsubmitted work, submit it by May, before May the 17th. If I don't get it by 5 p.m. on May the 17th, I'm not going to grade it at all. Um, if you have anything, go ahead and get it submitted. Do not wait until May the 17th, because if, if I get a bunch of work from you on May the 17th, I'm going to be really mad at you, and you won't want me to be grading your paper while I'm that angry with you. So if you haven't been doing your work, turn it in. Um, I have given you information about how to contact me to arrange a personal Zoom or, or Facebook Messenger meeting to look at your papers and talk about them and talk about the things that we might do to uh, uh, help you with them. So if you have questions, if you uh, need clarification or more information, uh, contact me by email so that we can set that up. Um, May 21st, we are going to have a Zoom meeting of some kind to uh, mark the end of the school term. I hope that we will do something that's, uh, if not exactly fun, at least slightly diverting uh, for our final session. Uh, so those are all things to keep in mind. Now then, with your papers, uh, all of you need to check the format for citing works, both uh, on your works cited page and uh, in the body of your papers. You need to check that. You have that material. I have given it to you. Uh, it's on iGrade, I think, and I've given it to you. So check that. If you're having trouble with it, let me know. But uh, I can't see why you should have trouble because I've already told you all about it and have handed out the, uh, the information in the past. But, uh, work on that. Um, a lot of you are having issues with, uh, with basic grammatical things, such as using the proper verb tense, uh, subject-verb agreement, um, you know, basic things. Go back and look at it and read your paper aloud to yourself or have or to someone else to find out whether it makes any sense. Um, you know the kind of things you need to do to be getting ready, so be doing that. Uh, you should by now have finished reading Revelation by Flannery O'Connor, and we're going to talk a little bit about that uh, here, and uh, this is going to be a very short lecture. Um, if you find yourself puzzled by Revelation, let me recommend that you go and read Luke chapter 18 
and particularly verses 9 through 14 in your Bibles. That may give you a little bit of a clue to what's going on. Now, um, the title of this story is Revelation, which uh, gives rise to the obvious question, what exactly is revealed in this story? So ask yourself, what, what gets revealed and to whom in this story? Now, it's, it's a simple enough story in its way. Uh, Mrs. Turpin go, brings her husband to the doctor's office. In the waiting room, she has a conversation with several people. Um, while she's there, um, an ugly girl uh, throws a college textbook at her and hits her in the head with it and then pounces upon her and begins to choke her. And when, when the ugly girl, whose name is Mary Grace, uh, is sedated, the last words she says are to Mrs. Turpin and they are to, she tells her to go back to hell where she came from and calls her a warthog. Mrs. Turpin goes home and wonders just exactly why Jesus allowed this to happen to her. And uh, then the story concludes. Uh, I'm not going to tell you what happens in case you haven't read it. But uh, that's the story. Uh, it's interesting that Mrs. Turpin considers uh, that uh, what the events that happened to her happened because Jesus allowed them to, which uh, uh, raises in her mind the question, why did Jesus allow this to happen? Um, and uh, that is the question behind the whole story. Why, why did this happen? Uh, O'Connor does not ever specifically dispute that Jesus did, in fact, allow Mary Grace <coughs> to, <coughs> to hit Mrs. Turpin over the head with a book and choke her and tell her to go to hell. Um, the question becomes, why did this happen? Uh, if you have uh, read the passage of Scripture that I told you about, you might have an idea of why this happened. <clears throat> but uh, uh, we have a little bit of an insight into what O'Connor was doing, both with this story and with everything else she wrote. Um, from letters, she, she wrote lots of letters to friends, to her editors, to her publisher, about what she was writing. Uh, and so we know a little bit about what she was thinking. Uh, <clears throat> when O'Connor was writing, a lot of people were from time to time kind of put out at the things she wrote and thought that her stories were, were uh, in some ways awful. And uh, she was aware of that. Uh, <clears throat> here, are, here are three different quotes from, from three different sources but uh, of O'Connor. Uh, that may give us a clue as to what she's talking about uh, and may give you an answer as to why the ugly girl is named Mary Grace. <clears throat> Here's the first one. All human nature vigorously resists grace because grace changes us and the change is painful. So, O'Connor tells us that grace is painful. Now that, of course, is not uh, not a comment on our friend Miss Hill. Uh, it's a comment about the uh, the mystical process by which we are redeemed. And um, O'Connor says, "All human nature vigorously resists grace because grace changes us, and the change is painful." Now, this quotation obviously suggests that, uh, that some kind of change is necessary. Uh, uh, and uh, admitting that we need to change can be difficult. Uh, 
Here, here is something else that O'Connor says about her stories in general. She says, all my stories are about the action of grace on a character who is not very willing to support it. But most people think of these stories as hard, hopeless, and brutal. So, uh, do you think of Revelation as a hard, hopeless, and brutal story? Uh, O'Connor says it's about grace and about the action of grace on a character who, who, who doesn't, is not willing to accept it and how it happens. Here's another quote. I have found that violence is strangely capable of returning my characters to reality and preparing them to accept their moment of grace. Their heads are so hard that almost nothing else will work. What does she mean by this? How does she mean that violence somehow prepares her characters to accept their moment of grace? And, and what was Mrs. Turpin's moment of grace in this story? Did she have one? If she did, what was it? And what prepared her for it? Uh, what does she mean by that? Give that some thought. Uh, while you're at it, think about, uh, think about the uh, uh, scene in the moviegoer uh, at the end of part five where Binks and Kate are sitting in Kate's car and uh, Binks is, is uh, speculating about the, uh, the man who goes into and comes out of the church and his reasons for being there and, and uh, what he says there about perhaps grace. Um, give that some thought. Uh, could it be that, uh, that this process of grace is perhaps uh, uh, not always what we think it is? Uh, could it be that perhaps it is more difficult and uh, less pleasant than, uh, than perhaps what uh, uh, some people would have us believe. Give that some thought. Uh, uh, send me an uh, email, tell me, why, why do you think uh, Mary Grace is named Mary Grace? What do you think that has to do with this story? And what was revealed to Mrs. Turpin? Um, with that, I have said uh, what I can say to you about, uh, not only about uh, Revelation, but about the things that we've read. I hope that perhaps you have grown a little bit uh, in your reading and in your understanding. Um, I hope as well that you've learned to communicate a little better. Uh, and that's it. Um, be working. I'll speak to you again on Monday. Bye.